Hi guys. Hey everyone. We well, hope you're all well and are coping okay with this current situation. Um, we're in beautiful Starnberg today. I don't know if you can see the lake in the background. It's one of the richest areas around Munich here, but it's also very beautiful. It's about, well, we cycled here, so about an hour and a half on the bike and about 20 minutes on the train. So we're here today because we just needed to get out of the house for a bit and enjoy this beautiful weather. Yeah, we're pretty used to working from home, but even for us, this Corona quarantine is driving <laughs> us a little bit stir crazy. So yeah, we're here today and we thought we'd take this opportunity to tell you a bit about what's been on our minds the last few weeks. Yeah, and ask for some of your help. Um, we kind of need your help making a decision. So we've been considering different options. Option one Boom. was a wooden shed. You know, the ones that you put in your backyard. Just put some wooden foundation down, put the, the shed on top, throw some insulation in, and then we can live in there for a while. Option two Boom. was to get a yurt. We've seen some really cool YouTube videos of people building yurts and living in them. So we thought that could be a cool idea. Thing is, when you price a yurt up, including the foundations and the platform and the log burning stove, it starts to add up as well. Yeah. So considering we need to live in there full time and work in there for a year while we build the house, not 100% sure yeah. that's the right option, but it would look pretty awesome. So there is that. Then option three Boom. was a mobile home at first. We started looking into mobile homes, which then pretty quickly led us into container houses, which is funny because we initially looked into container houses when we were thinking about what to build the house from in the units. We really liked the idea of cont using containers, but then we realized very soon that from, for the same amount of money that you would spend on building units from a container, you could also build them with bricks and more sturdy and more longer lasting um, for the same price. So that's why we went off them, but we thought it could be really cool for something that we can live in for a while. Option four Boom. would be to just rent something for a year. Just get a small apartment um, and yeah, just ideally not too far away from the land, like 10, 15 minutes, just live in there for a year until we can move into the house. So those are the options. Now the dilemma that we have is we need to put this on the rural land, the yes. rustic land, not on the building land because that's going to be a building site. So it needs to be something that's movable. It needs to not have fixed foundations or be connected to the electricity grid or the water grid, etc. And that's kind of where the wooden shed is out because it's not movable. You have to assemble it and disassemble it. So it doesn't really count. The yurt would still count as movable. And obviously the container house is also an option. But a lot of those costs that you have are putting in the floor and the plinth. That's a lot of work. The same as the shed really. It's a lot of work to throw away in a year when we move out. Yeah. Or, you know, if the council again tell us that, hey, you've been living here for over a year, you need, it's, it needs to move on. Yeah. So the container house, it's kind of our best option, I think, at the moment between that and renting. Yeah. The container house that we found is, um, from a Greek company called Cocoon Modules. Um, they have some really beautiful containers. Yeah, go check them out. It's really, really nice. Uh, and, and the prices online are really reasonable. Yeah, that's why we really fell in love with them because we thought, well, this is a really good price for what you're getting. And we considered, you know, if you'd rent somewhere for 12 months to potentially 18 months, the Two money years. that you would save there kind of would have made it worthwhile. But then we spoke to them got an actual quote and unfortunately it was quite a bit more expensive than we thought. Yeah, they so. were advertised at 18,000 for a 40 foot container, fully fitted. Yeah, and we with thought, kitchen, wow. bathroom, like really nice. Yeah, we were blown away. We thought, if this is true, this is great. So we talked to them, went through the process for a few weeks, but unfortunately getting to the end of the process, there was a few fees that they had hidden away yeah. that didn't come out until the end. So the actual cost, including delivery, was going to be around 28,000, right? Yeah, exactly. So that made us go back. Well, isn't it maybe not just better to rent something? It's also less hassle because you don't have the stress of shipping it and is that all going to work out? Is something go wrong? You know, Corona's throwing the whole shipping world and everything into 
exactly. You never know. We've been talking to shipping companies to get quotes and they were all saying it's so unpredictable right now. They can't really give us any quotes because they don't know what's going to happen. So obviously there's a lot of hassle and stress connected to it. But it would also be really cool to just live in this container house on the land, be there 24 seven, be a real adventure. And I think it'd also be a really cool way to to just experience living in a really small space. We've been living really minimalistic over the last few years, but it would be an opportunity to just shrink down everything even more and just go and live with really little mm. before then moving into a house and having more space and being able to appreciate all this even more. Yeah, and just really living this life. I mean, we've been dreaming about this for seven or eight years now. Um, it feels really close. This um, planning permission taking a while yeah. has really taken a bit of a toll. Like we want it just to get going now. We want to start living it. Yeah. And I think this is kind of a way for us to to feel like we're we're living that life already a little bit. I think we're really eager to just to just get there and live to on the land. Get a dog. Get a dog and oh, chickens man. and just get going. But, but we can do that from a rental property. It's an emotional thing, you know the risks involved you know we've got to pay that money that money is tied up then we can't spend that money on the house until we sell it so that's the other thing so obviously if you're renting something for a year potentially 18 months potentially two years hopefully not um, that's money that is just gone you're never going to get that back spending 28 to 30 grand on this container house is also it's not gone, it's an investment and we do think that we could resell the container after a few years and still get a decent amount of money back for it. So you potentially be losing a lot less, but at the same time we also don't know, it's kind of a grey area whether you're allowed to do this living in a container on the land. Yeah, that's it, because like, in Portugal they have two rules. They have your temporary accommodation or they have a house. A house you need planning permission a temporary accommodation you don't but it has to be temporary so these rules about not having foundations or being plugged into utilities um, that's where these rules come from but it's a gray area it's not well defined the council in Silvesh, which is right next door to Portimao recently said that um, trailer parks or mobile homes now need to have planning permission so the gray area really is if, Port if Portimao decided to do the same thing then we'd be in trouble and we'd have to sell it straight away. Exactly, so there's that risk. If that was going to happen, then we probably would have lost more money than by renting somewhere for a year or six, 18 months. Yeah, because we got to ship it from Greece and we got to do, you know, we got to get the ground ready, even though it's not a foundation, you still have to make sure it's flat, it's level, yeah. it's not going to sink. We've been talking about this so much over the last few weeks uh, and we still don't really know what to do. I think we're kind of at that point where our brains tell us it is probably the better decision to go and rent somewhere. Yeah, our rational brain. Yeah, but at the same time, we've also really fallen in love, fell in, really fell in love with these container homes and just really liked the idea of living there. Yeah. So. And it's, well, we've just been the delayed gratification, you know, we've been delaying this for years to make this happen and it's like, okay, we just need to delay it one more year. Yeah. But, Oh. We're done delaying. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I just want it. So we thought we'd ask you for your help. Yeah. You know, we're trying Maybe. to make a community here with like your opinion. Maybe you can think of some other negatives or positives that we are not thinking of for, for either of those options. Or maybe you've done something similar. Yeah. Or maybe we've got something wrong and we've not we've not considered an option. Yeah. So if you have any thoughts on it, feel free to share them in the comments. We would really like to hear them. Maybe they will help us to make a decision. Who knows? Okay guys, well I hope you're all well and safe. Yeah. Stay inside, stay isolated. Yeah. And uh, social distancing. We'll try and make some more videos over the next few weeks to yeah. keep you entertained. Yeah. All okay. Right, take care. Ciao for now. <laughs>